from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, the forecast is on track for some rain later tomorrow afternoon and evening, a dry Thanksgiving, and then a very cold Thanksgiving weekend, including the potential for some light snow later on Saturday into Saturday night. So today was much more seasonable, obviously much cooler than yesterday, but highs of 45 to 50, not unusual here for late November. But what is headed our way is very unusual for late to November or even early December, and you'll see that in the uh, seven-day forecast. Now, the clouds are moving in tonight, but live Doppler radar is all dry, and that will be the case through early tomorrow afternoon. Then by about 2 or 3 p.m. we'll begin to see that scattered rain moving in from the west and that's going to lead to a wet Wednesday night. But here's the day playing out uh, from the vantage point of downtown Evansville. We had lots of sunshine this morning and then just a gradual increase in the mid to high level clouds this afternoon. It was a pretty sunset and right now those clouds are thickening up. We actually dropped down to 36 degrees a couple of hours ago and now we're back up to 38 with the light northeast winds. We've already taken the big drop, most of the area hanging out between 35 and 40 and will hold pretty steady throughout the night. But compared to last night, for most of us, it's much colder. 8 degrees uh, colder in Evansville than it was 24 hours ago. 11 degrees in Tell City and Fordsville. But at least we won't be dropping uh, anymore. So the clouds are moving in right now. There's a little scattered, very light wintry mix passing to our north. That's of no consequence. And really the precipitation that's headed our way has yet to develop. It's really going to block Awesome during the day tomorrow. So the new model has come in and updated. Let's get some new information on the timing of this rain for your travel plans on Wednesday. And we'll dawn cloudy with temperatures upper 30s to around 40 degrees. And the morning will be dry. If you're traveling to the north or northwest, the earlier you go tomorrow, the better. Now, if you have to go late, you'll still be able to make it. You just have to deal with more rain as you drive to the north and northwest. That rain will begin to move in from the west mid to late afternoon. This is 4 p.m. And before the rain arrives, it will be a little bit warmer than today. Highs will generally be in the lower 50s, forecasting 51 to 52 for the afternoon high. Then that rain really moves in after sunset. It's going to be a wet Wednesday evening. Let me back that up for you one more second and slow that down because I want to show you a few points here. Here we go, 8 p.m., pretty solid area of rain throughout the uh, entire tri-state. And the new guidance kind of pulling back on any kind of rain-snow mix. Can't rule out a little brief mix in our far northeastern counties as everything ends during the pre-dawn hours on Thursday. And we'll still be around 40 to start Thanksgiving, not too cold of a start, but mostly cloudy skies through it looks like early afternoon. And then a little clearing will try to work in from the northwest on Thanksgiving Day, which would be kind of chilly, low to mid 40s. And the real cold air begins to spill in Thursday night. We'll start Black Friday in the upper 20s. It'll be a good looking day, but highs only in the upper 30s, despite mostly sunny skies. There'll be a breeze on top of that. And then it gets even colder as we head into the weekend. But rainfall amounts with this system coming in later tomorrow and tomorrow night, not all that heavy, should be under a half inch area wide. So overnight clouds will be thickening up at mid 30s, but rising towards daybreak tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, a cloudy day with that rain gradually developing later in the afternoon, say after 3 p.m., 49 to 53 for the high, a wet Wednesday night, but the rain is gone by daybreak on Thanksgiving. We see a little clearing later in the afternoon, 46. Sunshine Friday, 37. A Clippers coming in later Saturday afternoon and evening with a little bit of light snow. Can't roll out minor accumulations too early to tell with certainty. I don't think it's going to have any significant impacts, but that will drag down even colder air. Look at the high on Sunday, only 33 degrees, and the low temperature by Monday morning all the way down to 18 degrees.